York University professor James Elder is leading a major research project to develop a 3D technology that will give people a new perspective into what is happening in cities. Test flights happening at York University are part of this project. Uh, this week at York University, we are conducting an experiment uh, involving an unmanned aerial vehicle. This is a small electric vehicle that can fly for about 20 minutes. And uh, the great thing about it is it can fly at various altitudes between ground level and up to you know, tens of meters in the air and can fly relatively close to buildings. Uh, details of a city happen somewhere in between, not up in the sky and not on the ground, but uh, along uh, the sides of buildings. The larger goal of this project is to develop a system that gives people a window into the life of a city. Technologies such as Google Maps or Google Earth show a static view of the city, but this will provide a new dimension. What we don't have currently is a way of going online and seeing what's happening in the city, that is the dynamics, the way people are moving around, the vehicles driving through the city, uh, now in a full three-dimensional context. So the goal of our project is to be able to deliver that kind of technology so you can actually uh, feel what's important about cities, that is the dynamic life uh, that's going on in the city. The technology could be used for many purposes, from understanding how people are using city sidewalks to preventing crime or responding to emergencies. If you want to find out, for example, what's happening at Young and Dundas Square this evening, you might just dial that up uh, from your home and, and see you know, what, how many people are there and what they're doing. But the, the beautiful, beautiful thing is that this can all be virtualized so that no, one, uh, no one's privacy is being invaded, everyone's represented as an avatar. The ongoing GOI project that York professor James Elder is leading involves several universities in Canada as well as the private sector and is funded by the Canadian and Ontario governments.